Sometimes things just line up the right way when you weren't expecting them to. That's basically the story with this, the Acer Chromebook 516 GE, a Chromebook that is built for cloud gaming, marketed as such, and does a great job at that task. But in building a Chromebook suited for gaming, Acer went and created something far more attractive, a Chromebook that's good at just about everything you could want. Let's get into it. Now on the surface, you may look at photos, videos, and spec sheets on this Chromebook and think something like, that's too big of a Chromebook for me, or I'm not really into gaming. But I would tell you, stick around for this one. While not the perfect Chromebook all around, there's never going to be one, this Chromebook gets so much right and is such an absolute delight to use that even if you've not been into bigger Chromebooks before or you don't consider yourself a gamer, I mean, I, I don't, this device still has a whole lot to offer. So let's get this spec stuff out of the way right up front. We're looking at a 16-inch Chromebook with a 12th gen Intel Core i5 1240p processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of NVMe storage so it's crazy fast and you're also getting 120 hertz quad hd 2560 by 1600 16 by 10 screen that hits 350 nits on paper and is even higher than that in our testing you also get some of the best upward firing speakers available in a chromebook a fantastic rgb backlit keyboard a large smooth ocean glass trackpad and all the connectivity you need there's usb type c on both sides a single usb type a they're all 3.2 full size hdmi port, headphone microphone jack, Kensington lock, and a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. Wireless connection is solid too with the inclusion of Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. So basically, if you need to connect to it, this Chromebook has you covered. Finally, all of this is encased in a mostly aluminum chassis that's very rigid and yet lighter than you would expect. Like, a lot lighter. Even with the slim bezels around the 16 inch screen, this is a big Chromebook, but it only weighs 3.75 pounds. And while that's heavier than, you know, smaller 13 and 14 inch devices, it's not heavier by much. Four to five pound Chromebooks tend to kind of turn me off. So when I picked this one up for the first time, I was really surprised with how light it felt compared to its size. Tossing it in a bag to take home each night hasn't been an issue at all. And that backpack travel has been pretty consistent for me, not only because I'm reviewing this device, but because I'm using it a ton outside of work hours. It's a gaming device after all, and I've been leaning into that pretty heavily. While Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Gaming and Amazon's Luna have been just okay to use for now, GeForce Now has been spectacular. We made a whole video about this, and we'll link that in the description, but playing competitive, fast games like Fortnite or Apex Legends has been fantastic on this Chromebook. Now, part of that equation is NVIDIA's move to allow Quad HD 120Hz streaming via the Chrome browser, and the other part of that equation is this Acer 516 GE's ability to take full advantage of all of it. The colors and brightness of this screen make everything look fantastic, and the 120Hz refresh rate takes everything to the next level with insanely smooth animations and great response times. The speakers are full and loud as well, giving me the option to play in an immersive way without having to use headphones if I don't want to. And the keyboard's anti-ghosting abilities mean it doesn't just feel responsive, it also won't miss keystrokes when I'm pushing a bunch of stuff all at once. But here's the thing, all of those traits that make it great for playing games also make it a stellar work Chromebook too. The screen is large and pin sharp, so even away from my desk, I feel really productive and able to stretch out a bit. The high refresh rate makes Chrome OS look silky smooth and lets me enjoy the same frame rate I get from my office monitor while I'm out and on the go, and I just love that. And those speakers that are so great for gaming also do a fantastic job in video calls or when I'm consuming some content on YouTube. And the keyboard that's tuned for those quick multi-touch input captures, it grabs my keystrokes with ease all the time and is made for a well-rounded writing companion as well. It doesn't take long to see how all of this gaming focused improvement also translates to the workday as well and it's made for a device that I've enjoyed far more than I ever anticipated. And while the internals on this thing aren't exactly necessary for cloud gaming, they are more than welcome. This combo of a high-end processor, enough RAM and storage, and this 120 hertz screen make for a Chromebook experience that is second to none. Everything is lightning fast and responsive, even when pushing both my internal and external Quad HD 120 hertz screens. It's no surprise that I've not had any issues from a performance standpoint, and this processor and GPU should fare quite well when Steam games do show up in the next few months as well. Finally, with all that power, all those pixels and the speedy frame rates, I was expecting pretty terrible battery life, but 
While it's no multi-day champ, this Chromebook held up pretty well, getting me through a full day of work with around seven to eight hours of screen on use. It would be interesting if Google would add a refresh rate adjustment for the internal display like we do have with external screens so that users could save some battery if they needed it. But overall, I'm satisfied with the battery life and can confidently get these numbers even with the brightness of the screen pushed up to like 65, 70%. Now, I've enjoyed this device so much that it's pretty easy to look past the few flaws that it has, but we still have to talk about them. Now, for one, I'd love to see one more USB type A port. As a gaming focused device, I want a mouse plugged in most times. I usually have a Logitech dongle in the single USB A port, and I have to remove it a lot of times for when I need to attach like a storage device. It's not a huge deal, but there's definitely room for one more port on this thing. Another gripe is the lack of touch input on the screen. While not entirely necessary, I really like having it around on non-convertible devices. I've become so accustomed to just reaching up and touching the screen for so many things on so many Chromebooks at this point that the lack of it has been a little bit of a bummer. The excellent trackpad experience, though, has helped mitigate this a bit, but I'd still love to see a touchscreen option available. And while we're talking about inputs, the backlighting on the keyboard is a bit too too dim for my liking. It's the first RGB keyboard I've used on a Chromebook, and in most lighting situations, I can't really see it. Chrome OS has the ability to turn the lighting to a simple single color when you don't want to be too flashy, and the ability to turn the brightness up and down. So I'd really like to be able to pop those colors a bit when I want to when I'm in that mood, and then turn them down when I'm not. But as it stands, it looks nice in dim rooms, but I just don't really think about it too much elsewhere. Finally, I'd really like to see a fingerprint scanner on this Chromebook. Once we get over 600 bucks, I think this should be just a standard option. It's unfortunately not at this time, and I'm fine with using a pen, but having biometric authentication is relatively cheap to add to a Chromebook at this point, and I really wish this one had it. That's a short list of gripes, though, and to be fair, they're all shortcomings that I can pretty comfortably live with when they accompany a device that has been this is great to use. Seriously, I don't want to send this thing back. I know I can cloud game on other Chromebooks and I can get solid performance from other places, but there's not been a device that puts all of that together in one place quite like this one has for me. I'll be holding on to it as long as Acer will let me for certain. And the good news is all of this comes in at just $649. As I've hopefully conveyed to you, this isn't just another Chromebook, and to see it arrive at this sort of price point is a little crazy. I'm sure there are going to be sales on it down the road or whatever, but I don't need to see it reduced one bit to recommend it right now. With regular OS updates until 2030, this Chromebook is 100% worth the asking price and then some. If you're looking for a larger screen Chromebook to get things done on while having some unique bells and whistles that make content consumption and gaming a lot more fun too, then this could be the right Chromebook for you. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.